When it comes to doing business in India, it's often about keeping it in the family. More than two-thirds of the country's companies worth more than $50 million are family-run, the highest proportion in Asia. That tradition is starting to change, with more outsiders being hired in. But family still comes first here, as I've been finding out. For four generations, the Bajaj family's been in business. The name's one of India's most recognised and wealthiest, known for everything from motorbikes to home appliances to insurance. The first enterprises were started by great-grandfather Jamnalal Bajaj, a close friend of Mahatma Gandhi. So, so this is your grandfather? Yes, and that's my grandmother. That's my aunt, eldest aunt. Then Shekhar Bajaj and his son Anand run Bajaj Electricals. They're happy to carry on the business dynasty and say it's in their DNA. Since uh, childhood, my father, uncle, all of them would talk business at home in the evenings. We sit and we are young, we just sit around. So it was something which was already there all the time. The family gave us special access to their private gallery in the heart of Mumbai. One reason they believe family empires are so strong is an undivided loyalty and a longer term view when it comes to investing. But is there an unfair advantage if you're getting the business passed on to you because of your genes? It gives you a head start possibly, yes, that's about it. But after that, actually because you're from the family, it's a much more higher expectation, unsaid expectation. This building behind me is believed to be the world's most expensive house. It's owned by Mukesh Ambani, India's wealthiest man and from a family-run empire. In fact, the vast majority of the country's top 10 rich list are from family-run enterprises.